everyone. In this video, we will continue EDA. EDA stands for Exploratory Data Analysis. In this video, we would learn, we have already finished cleaning of the data and now how we have to remove outliers. First of all, we have to try to find out how our outliers we can, we, in a file we can report and after that, how we have to remove these outliers. So for this purpose, I had a, I'm just going back and I'm showing you how you have to open your new file. So I will not continue this the same EDA file. What I will do, uh, okay, fine. Let me continue the same file. Uh, and after that, I'm just showing you, I'm just attaching one new file over here. And uh, that file is, uh, let me create uh, one new variable that is, uh, I'm just creating a variable, let's say, uh, DAT, right? And uh, it's equal to, let me open PD dot read underscore CSV, underscore CSV. And where is my file? I'm sure file should be in the same directory. And in this fi file name is income.csv, income.csv. Let me run this file. Mm, okay, fine. There is, a, I think, some problem name pd is not defined. What happened? pd dot uh, read underscore csv. I think I had already defined each and everything. Pandas as pd. I have already run this. Okay, fine. So let me check once again. Mm. Now I'm sure it will run. Right. So uh, I had created this new variable pd.read underscore csv income.csv file I had opened. So let me check what is in this file. Let me print this file. And now you can see there are number of the columns, age, job type, ED type, marital status, right, and occupation, relationship, race, gender, etc. And now we are going to use, there is also a one more function. It is, uh, let's say, when you, are, you want to see only first few rows, so we are going to use this function. Let me run this. Now only first five rows you can see after this, right? So job type you can see. And uh, if we want to see and uh, all these things, all the variables you can see here, what other uh, columns are here. Native countries, salaries, etc. And uh, hours per week also, right? So this is the income.csv file, that kind of columns it has. And now what, what, we, can, what, what we have to do here is uh, again, I am going to use same file name. I think my file name is dat, D A T because Python is very case sensitive. So I'm sure correct name you must use. Otherwise it will give you error. And this is, uh, if I'm talking about dead dot and uh, let me use tail function. And after that, I want to run this so I could be able to see last few rows. So these are the total data. I think 31,977 data is in this file. Now what we have to do, let me take one particular column, how we have to see distribution plot. So I want to see, let's say SNS dot, I'm going to use DST plot. And uh, I want to see only um, from this file. Let me, I just want to see only uh, one, particular column I want to see let's say I'm talking about hours per week hours per week hours per week and uh, let me run this so 
could you be able to see the distribution plot? Yes, yes, distribution plot I, I, I could be able to see. And it's normally distributed. It's normally distributed hours per week. But uh, some data, some outliers, still it is existing over there. And after that, I want to check, let's say, um, I want to draw a box plot. So how I have to do SNS dot box plot, box plot. And uh, I want to take on the X axis, let me, I would like to define gender gender and uh, on y axis i want to take h and uh, let me define h and uh, from where it will pick up both these columns and that is the data file is that is d a t and uh, after this i'm going to run this now yes a uh, beautiful plot uh, bar plots are here that is uh, in case of the female age is uh, 35 that is the mean age and in case of the male i think a little bit uh, uh, greater than 35 and uh, all these things are these are the outliers you can see so how we have to find outliers that's the most important thing how we have to and now the question is how to remove outliers so shall be now mark down mm, just a moment let me mark down um, how to remove i'm just writing here how to remove how to remove outliers how to remove outliers and uh, let me run this and after that what you have to do here is we are simply first of all we have to create a box plot of only age so let me create sns dot box plot box plot and uh, i have taken box plot uh, let me y equal to y equal to let me write here is h and after this h from where it will pick and that would be data is data equal to debt and uh, let me run this okay fine this is my box plot now is individual box plot of age so now you can see i think if i could be able to see more than somewhere is the 79 or 78 rest of these are outliers so how i have to remove these outliers that's the most important part and now uh, first of all let me check before starting this debt uh, I would like to check debt uh, uh, age mean because after that we can again we have to check after removing this age mean. So let me use this mean function and uh, let me run this and uh, now mean is 38.57 you can see here. And uh, now what we have to do, I am just creating one more new variable, let's say debt one, right, debt one. And I would like to remove, there is debt and I'm going to use, this one is the square bracket. And uh, this is a debt, debt, uh, debt. And after that, I'm going to use a uh, one particular column. The column name is age. And uh, after this age, uh, I'm giving you, giving this, those are the less than, less than, let's say I'm going to use less than 68, less than 68, right? And let me run this. And after that, let me, check this uh, let me check this again uh, what is happening i mean again i'm going to use this one is the box plot again so now you can see here i'm just copying this and uh, right and i will just put it here right and here is i'm going to use data is from that one 
and uh, let me run this so yes very beautifully all the outliers are removed you can see this is the difference that is before removing outliers and that is after removing outliers so now you can see here there is no outliers so our data is uh, cleaned and uh, let me check this mean also right before moving ahead let me check this uh, mean also so again i am going to use this the same thing uh, data and uh, this is the you can see here and let me run this so now mean value is 38 point no 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 date one i'm going to use because now new data is that one so let me run this uh, now you can see earlier previously mean was 38 point something you can see here 38.57 and now new mean is 37.62 so in that way very beautifully we had removed this uh, uh, outliers and now let me suppose i want to check that uh, one dot shape right so i could be able to see now what is the shape means you can see there are these number of the columns now earlier the number of the columns number of the rows were very high and now number of the rows are reduced and number of columns are same and now what we have to do let's say you want to check uh, all the um, data all the columns uh, this thing uh, i could say box plot so what you have to do simply you have to use this function and after that you can run this and uh, you can see here where is the outlier problems in this box i am in capital gain capital loss hours per week uh, not but age is removed right there is no outlier in age because we had already cleaned and suppose we want to see that one uh, this thing is the histogram right hist right so what will happen let me run this of the complete file and this is the histogram of the complete file right so in that way you can also clean your data i'm sure this video would be helpful thank you keep watching